Thanks, Daniel. Take a look at this map. Each yellow pin marks where Tucson police have investigated overdoses. Back in May, the Digging Deeper team told you about the alarming increase in fentanyl overdose deaths. From January to June, police say they were averaging about 15 overdoses a month. Now, News 4 Tucson's Blue Peter Murillo has another shocking number to share. It's only the middle of July, and Tucson police have already responded to nearly two dozen drug overdoses. 20 of them have been fatal. The three that survived were all uh, survived due to the early intervention with Narcan. Detective Tim St. Cyr is part of the counter-narcotics unit that investigates overdose deaths. Our squad's main goal is to try to stop the influx of, of drugs that are causing these. And to get that person into treatment. And at the same time, stem the flow of uh, drugs that are causing these issues. And that's what the squad did on Wednesday night. The person survived and was able to help detectives arrest Rodolfo Ruiz and Andronico Arvisu. Both were charged with nearly a dozen drug charges each and possession of a firearm in a drug offense. Detective St. Cyr says they also seized over 1,000 counterfeit Xanax pills. The most fatal overdoses right now are related to counterfeit drugs with fentanyl mixed in them. So why the surge in overdoses? One of the biggest issues that's on the street has to do with, with fentanyl. Fentanyl is a lot stronger, a lot more potent, making it extremely dangerous. When it's bought on the street and not from a pharmacy, it's hard to know what you're getting because the drug is mixed in and hidden. So you're not really sure how big of a... How, how, how big the dose is that you're getting and what you're really taking. And you know, if you're not used to it, you don't have the tolerance for it, you can't overdose. The pandemic also has a lot to do with people doing more drugs to help them cope with stresses of unemployment, buying groceries, mounting debt. And being uh, confined to houses and not being able to get out has led to an increase in drug use and an increase in unsafe drug use. Barden says since the pandemic, he's noticed there aren't as many people coming in for treatment. You know, I don't know if people are afraid. I don't know if people are concerned about going out. You know, the stay at home order went into place and, you know, we saw a significant drop. Tucson police hope the seizure of the fake Xanax. That that's a thousand potential overdoses prevented. Tucson police say there is help for people battling addiction. If you want more information, go to our website, kvoa.com. Digging deeper at Tucson Police Headquarters, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson. Flags fly at half staff throughout Arizona.